Hey, can I ask you a few questions? Uh, you can ask. Okay. Do you know what it means to be born again? Yes. What do it mean to be born again? You believe in Jesus Christ. You believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins? He sure did. All right. You ever accept them into your heart? Yes, I do. Has you been, have you been practicing any of it? Yes. How, how do you practice it? Uh, I go to church. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. By practicing it is that, you know, maybe sometimes in and life, No, no, and I believe it in my heart. By practicing, I mean, sometimes in our life, as we read the Word of God, there's some things in it that, you know, we clearly see that we shouldn't be doing. Uh, do we have, do you have a desire to want to stop anything in your life? Yes. What would, it, what would that be? So, so you can please God. It's like, stop smoking. <laughs> Anything else? Uh, I, I just want to uh, to obey his laws. Okay. So what stops and you from doing that? We are sinners. But when we are born again, Christ is spirit, the Holy Spirit comes inside of us. Down here in our belly. Right, right down right, here. Right. But, so he gives us power over sins and bad habits. But if we don't practice it, then he can't help us the way he wants to help us. So when we see in the word of God that, that there's something there that we need to practice, we, we uh, first, you said, yeah. the, you said the right thing at first, all right? You said desire. Okay, first you gotta get the desire to wanna stop. Then once you get the desire, then you find somebody like me that wanna come and pray and come alongside and, and, and help you. And then that power, will be broken. Yes. So you said one of the okay. main things you want to okay. practice is one thing you want out of your life is smoking. Right. How about uh, drinking? You like that to get out of your life or you know you like uh, that you like that too much to want it out no, of your life. No 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 I, 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 I do like a few beers every night. Okay. But it, it helps me to sleep and but in order to get rid of any habits we have to like I would say fast from it. Don't feed it, right? Okay. Like I used to drink, I, I, the reason how I really stopped, I stopped feeding that habit that was in my flesh, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I used to smoke. It was hard for me to stop, but I, I stopped Ooh. I stopped smoking. Even when my flesh, you do that? Even when my flesh would tell me, <laughs> I want a cigarette, I want a cigarette, and I'll just remind myself, I'll say it with my mouth, no, I stopped. I stopped smoking. I don't smoke no more. And oh, I stay good. away from everybody good. that, that smokes. For you know, give it a good four days, and then I had a, I had a handle on it. So what did I do? I fast from you know, it, right? You know, Grandma, uh, she she started smoking about, I think she said, when she was twelve. Okay. That's about when I started. She she died about ninety years, and all of a sudden she just she just quit. Wow. <laughs> See, it's all with our will. We can will to do things. And even more so as Christians, because we have the Holy Spirit in us. Once we understand that and want a will to do it, then that power can be broken. All right? Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to pray with you that, that the Lord will help you see that power that's in you, okay? All right? Just hold hands like this. Put your hands in your I'm going to pray, okay? What's your name? Dad. Dad. I'm Pastor Fred. Father, I pray for, for that, Lord God. I proclaim the covenant blood of Jesus Christ in his life, Lord God. He voiced with his own words that he have a desire to quit some things that's, that became habitual in his life concerning the works of the flesh. I stand with him as a man of God, as a king and priest in the house of God, and declare that power in his flesh broken by the covenant blood of Jesus Christ. Now, Father, I just speak peace in those areas of his life where he's been struggling. Because you called him, Lord God, out of that darkness. He, he confessed that he had Jesus Christ in his heart, Lord God, and therefore he's got power over sin and bad habits. So when he started exercising it, Lord God, that you would kick in and with the power that he needs to turn away from it. I ask now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen? Mary? Yes. 
<laughs> I'm Catholic. Okay. But you know, when you're in your prayers, you're in your prayers in the name of Jesus. He's the one that died on the cross yeah. for you, right? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Yes. You gotta say that. Say in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. We pray this. Amen. All right. So there you go. There. Amen. That's what. That's Pastor what, Fred. Yeah. Yeah, you're having a little trouble, huh? You're getting a little scuffle or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> See, that's why you got the... I, I, you I, prayed I, up, man. You prayed? No, I, I, I got into a fight with Ocean Boulevard. Oh. Ocean Boulevard, come on. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, then. Nice talking to you, all right? Hey, great. We'd Thank like you. We'd like to service tonight. We're having a service tonight. It's uh, probably in about 45 minutes or so. It's right in the back. We'd like to come back there. Right back here? Yeah, right all the way in the back. Then afterwards we feed. So you're welcome to come every Monday at 7. Oh, God be good. Right. Thank you. Bless you.